everyone and happy Sunday. I'm R.C. Beskar, an independent demonstrator with Stamping Up and I'm from Clovis, California. Thank you for joining me today. I am excited to show you this card. It was my swap card. Uh, here is the swap card. So I want to show you the technique and I kind of have shown it to you before, but I had a lot of requests. I did not have the same paper. So we are going to change it up with some new paper. And we're going to do it with this, which is the new uh, translucent flower, floral paper. I'll pull out the name in a minute when we take a look at it. But um, it is really beautiful paper. I actually had to go order more. So hello, everybody. Let's see. Hi, Melanie. Yes, happy birthday to Debbie. We sure miss her. Hi, Leslie. How are you? I did see a lot of requests for the new paper, so I have it all right here. So this is the new release paper, so I will show it to you. Oh, my ads keep making my chat go down. Hi, Sherry, how are you? Hi, Roxanne. I don't know why my, my chat is not scrolling. It's not letting me scroll for some reason. Hi, Carrie. Hi, Carol. Hi, Gloria. Hi, Renee. Oh, that's weird. I don't know why the date would have been weird. I'm like, did I not change it? I hope I did. Just catching up on a couple of things. I want to make sure I don't have any answers. Yes to the paper. Okay. Oh, I'm glad you caught it, Miss Terry. Oh, well, I, hopefully you can catch most of it. I'm going to show the paper at the end. So for those that haven't seen the paper, I will show it at the end. I have it right here. Okay, there's a lots of hellos. Hello, hello, everybody. Hi, Steph. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Wendy. All right. Hi, Corey. So I'm going to set these aside, and we will look through those. You won't want to miss it. The paper is even more beautiful. I thought, well, we have a lot of paper, but, you know, it's paper, so of course I have to get it. Um, so I had to go on and order a bunch more. And I ordered a bunch to begin with. So I, of course, had to go order more. And you'll see when you see it. It's beautiful. Um, one of the things I do want to show you is a sneak peek for Bingo. I still have a few kits left. So if you're interested, please, please go ahead and register. I am prepping them. They're almost done being prepped. So if um, I need to add more kits, I will. Um, but please make sure you do. But let me give you the sneak peek. Are you ready? So here is a sneak peek. I told you the first item will be a 3D item. And then I will have a matching card to go with it. It's going to be a cute gift set. Um, so you can use it as a gift packaging or storage packaging. It is a good size 3D item. And then the snowflake card on the bottom left, you will need a snowflake stamp set. If you don't have one, um, you just will not be decorating the uh, sentiment label and you can do something else with it. So you don't have to have it but I suggest that you have the snowflake set. If you don't have the new current one, an old one will be perfect. Uh, but if you don't, you're, there's still a sentiment on a label and you can also uh, gleam, it up, gleam it up with some rhinestones. You don't have to um, heat emboss. We will heat emboss in silver. Um, so that, it, and you don't, obviously you don't have to do that either. Oh, thank you, Renee. I appreciate that very much. So I'm going to explain a little bit about my Facebook page in just a bit. Um, so then the last one is the polar bear. Everything pretty much is cut out for you. And I think other than a sentiment, um, you are good to go. So pretty much everything is good to go unless you want to add snowflake steps. Um, but you don't have to. Okay. So if you are interested, there's a link below for bingo. Also the paper share. There is a regular paper share and there is the paper share special release. And I only have, I believe three left and you cannot get the add on unless you get the original. 
if you registered already for your paper share and you do want to add the special release just go and add it to your cart the special released uh, paper share add it to your cart and pay for it or just PayPal me $20 um, and put uh, special paper share in it because I did hold yours aside um, so I will hold those um, a little longer and then I'm going to release them to others but then we'll have to add shipping of course um, so there's not shipping added to those because I want to ship them together so um, hello Maureen hi Phyllis so I'd like to do that hi Betty um, so that's that's it on the paper share um, let's see what else I told you about bingo oh I do still have adhesive kits um, you will get um, the mini and the regular dimensionals a glue dot a full seal um, and then the liquid glue plus that mesh bag in the background and you will get all of that 40 for forty dollars it is $38 and some change if you purchase just the adhesive from the store but if you purchase it here you'll get the kit and that includes um, everything there I'm sorry my husband distracted me and let the dog in my room and so hopefully he's gonna lay down and be okay but I'm like I'm videotaping because then he'll go sit down at the door and start whining so if he does I'll just let him out but my husband's going outside so he wanted to leave him in here anyway um, really quickly about my Facebook there's a lot of activity going on on my new business Facebook page and that is so I'm doing some training and it's about a social mania let me get let me get my dog out hold on just a second hold on oh I think he got him sorry about that I think he got him out um, but he's getting ready to go to the pool and he's like I'm not coming in there so I think he's gone sorry um, so I'm going through some social media training and so I'm trying to um, learn about the ins and outs of the social media and the algorithm and all that kind of stuff so I love you guys commenting on the pages um, so it's kind of showing me that you know I'm learning and working it out to where it's um, I, I want to do the um, right thing on social media and do get my page seen and all that good stuff so um, same goes for YouTube I love that you guys are here and come back and comment and stuff like that um, so that's gonna be a lot of fun the other thing I wanted to remind you is I know I mentioned it a couple times but on bingo I'm gonna give some things away this bingo um, October bingo is the big birthday bingo so there's that's that's gonna be a little more um, I do a lot in October because it's my birthday month and um, that's gonna be a lot of fun but um, I'm also gonna do some fun stuff for this bingo so hopefully you will be able to make it all right hi Penny how are you hi Judy I think I said hi Judy hi Maureen I don't know I'm losing track but we're gonna get busy I'm gonna show you this card so again um, this is the card I did for one of my swaps for leadership and I've gotten a lot of compliments and a lot of requests to do a video if you watched my video uh, for the paper pumpkin the or no no it wasn't paper pumpkin it was the boho beach kit kind of the same thing so I'm going to show you that but I did it with new paper which is going to be this because I did a lot of these like over 50 and I ran out of the paper so um, I'm going to show you with the new paper so let's get started so this is uh, the original one but we're going to create this one and I used a lot of new product so let's get started there I'm going to give you the measurements first um, so listed below are going to be the um, supplies so the translucent flowers is what I use now with the sentiment of so sincere and um, so this is what I have now I did do the colors and add some information below for you of what I did with the original card in case you want the colors or the paper pack or anything like that so welcome Veronica thank you for watching first time watcher everybody yay okay so let me give you some measurements we're going to use berry burst when I took the picture to be honest it didn't look like berry burst let me show you again see that outside color how dark it is 
I tried taking that picture so many times and it looked like cherry cobbler, um, but it is not. It is berry burst. So I just wanted you guys to see that right off. All right, so let's get some measurements here. Let's start on the inside like usual. So on the inside, I did the four by five and a quarter and the four and an eighth by five and three eighths. 90% of the time, this is probably 95% of the time, this is the size I use because I have a huge stack of the four by five and a quarter and I just love having that at my fingertips. So I started making my back panel four and an eighth by five and three eighths because it just made sense. Now normally I also do a strip of DSP along the bottom. Normally it's three quarters by, um, by four and I do a pattern paper or something and then I add a little strip of something. I had these strips left from cutting down my paper, my Lolly Lemon, which we're gonna be using, and my new silver adhesive backed paper. So I'm gonna show you all the new papers when we're done with the card and you are, you're gonna fall in love with them. So let's, oops. I love my silicone mat because if my adhesive is not running, I like to start it over here so that it gets going. You can always turn it and grab your adhesive and go. So I just wanna get that on there. So I'm gonna put this on the bottom and it's a little bit long because that's just how my scraps ended up and that's okay because we're just cut it. That's another reason I like to use my adhesive sheet. The next thing I did is we're gonna add our Lolly Lemon piece. Let's see, did I do it that way? Yep. So then I used this, which I should have looked at this today because it wasn't working so great last night. I used it a lot. Um, I'm working on my, um, I'm just about done with my yeah. paper share thank you cards. So I wanted to finish those up. So I was working on that last night. The paper shares are packaged and they're now I'm stacking them into individual person's stacks. Okay, this has adhesive. Be very careful when you pull this off, okay? Because it's just like a waxy piece on the back, but multiple times I grabbed in the middle of the paper. So don't do that because um, then it won't stick anymore. So I'm just going to line that up and pull this. I'm only going to pull it to where I need it right about there because I'm going to save that piece. I saved all of my glimmer paper because you never know when you're going to need a little piece. Um, okay. My desk is kind of crazy because I have all kinds of stuff. So there we go. And then now I'm going to keep this but I cut this with my adhesive just a little longer, um, just so I know that that's adhesive and it does have the backing on it because I still have silver glimmer paper, I guarantee it. So I buy a lot of glimmer paper because for me, any card that you do for family or a birthday or a wedding or Christmas or whatever, I can add it on there. It doesn't have to be current. And I even have sometimes done cards that I add non-current stuff on it because you know what, it just makes the card and see how it's dark. I like to do it when it's light so I can actually see. There we go. All right, so here we go. Might as well put our inside in. Now you could stamp the inside with a happy birthday or happy anniversary or whatever because the front says hope your day is a happy one so it could be birthday it could be just because i thought that was a great senti sentiment you can use it for whatever you would like all right so there is the inside so let's put that aside over here all right so now we're going to bring in our pieces here i have for the back piece again this one's four by five and a quarter instead of four and an eighth by five and three eighths because I wanted to see um, the white around the outside. Okay, so I kind of wanted that 
that look. So it just kind of depends on what you want, but I decided to go with that. Then we're going to have our yellow, which is five and three eighths by four and seven eighths. Our white will go right on top of that, okay, which is three and a half by four and three quarters. I'm going to have to write this a little neater for you next time I can tell. So then I did our stylish shapes and I went from the inside, but it's actually, um, if we do this, one, two, three from the outside and four, I mean from the inside and four from the inside. Okay, so you want three and four. So I put those together and I thought, you know, I really need some bling. And so that's it, stylish shapes, number three and four from the center. That's those. And this is what my, um, hmm, three quarters by five and three. I think that's stuck there for no reason. So we don't need that. Um, so you need those from your stylish shapes. And then I decided I needed some bling on this, like I did on this one. Now this one, just in case you're wanting to know exactly how I did this one, is I used the um, dazzling, bedazzled. Um, I say bedazzled because I still have a ton of it, but it is more dazzling. I have some of that too, but that has gold and the champagne color. This is the champagne color one. Okay, so I did my timeless elements. Um, I chose the, the pieces that I cut. So this is the lemon lime, uh, lemon lime twist. And then I did the berry burst and those are on white paper. Okay. So I did, I um, used the blending brush, but then I used the blender pen. Let me find a blender pen so I can show you. Oh, right here. I used a blender pen and I just kind of went on the little circles. I just did little circles on the inside just to kind of give it a little bit more interest on the flowers there. Okay. So I did that on the flowers and then just br brushed the rest. I just liked the look of it instead of this stark paper. I liked that it was just a little lighter and variegated a little and it doesn't, it doesn't have to be from the paper. And then I added this little duo bow. So again, the supplies are listed below. I also added, I did this from a timeless, um, uh, timeless elements, I think it is. And I did that, the, the sentiment, and then I added the bedazzle in the background. So it just kind of gives it that little bit more. Okay. And then I used bedazzled in the middle, which I'll show you because we're going to be using the, the new silver adhesive strip in the middle. All right. So what we're going to do with this is let me pull all these off because I will use them again. Let's go ahead and do our sentiment first. So what I did is I did the flower and we're gonna stamp it off. All right, with Berry Burst. And I like to do the, the background first, that way the black is the last ink to go. We're gonna stamp that off and then stamp it right here. Okay, so there we go. It doesn't have to be super dark or super light. I wanted it, the black's gonna show up just fine, but I wanted to add some color to that label. And now we're gonna do our sentiment. And of course it depends on what sentiment you're going to use to what you're going to, what size label you're going to do. So um, it's just up to you. I'm going to make sure that this is inked up really well. And then I'm just going to put it right in the middle. Don't look at the flower, look at your text, make sure it's straight. Hi Debbie, how are you? Stephanie, yes, my room did, uh, it did, it looks like a bomb. I brought a table in, I've got um, paper shares everywhere, bags everywhere. My husband, the sweet angel, helped me 
take all the, the little strippy things off those bags and close them up so if there's labels not straight or you know they're not closed exactly right it's okay hubby helped and i was thrilled all right so this now is we're going to adhere that and put it together so this has the adhesive so just be really careful trying to get that off it's very thin so you don't want to grab the middle of your thing now what i did is i took my as soon as i can find it pokey tool there's that okay or we grab another one all right and then what i did is i just kind of held it like this this again two and an eighth by two and an eighth and i'm just going to remember this already has adhesive so it's going to be like a quick adhere here so you want to just kind of lightly start laying it down and then get it centered where you want it and then I went ahead and added glue anytime it's glitter or an embossed anything I add glue and I'm just gonna put that right in the center how pretty that is with the with the glimmer on it all right so that is done and we will put dimensionals on that in a little bit let's get to the important part we are going to get to our white piece so the white piece you don't see anywhere on here and that's because we're putting our strips on it so here is and i showed you guys this before oh let me wipe all this glitter off because it is glittery. Can you tell I've been working with the glitter a little bit? All right, let's dry that off. All right, hold on. Let me see if I can grab my other one here. I think I might be going back and forth too much. I grabbed my other one but we're still going to use this one because it dried all right i still have to clean off the other one it looks like it's got embossing powder on it all right so what we're going to do is we're going to take the seal and you want to make sure you get it pretty darn close to the edge it doesn't have to be exact but i like to get it really close otherwise your edges won't be sticking down but it doesn't have to be complete it just like so you can tell mine's not all the way to the edge but it's very close now i just go down the middle so what you want to do is you just want to make sure this does use a lot of adhesive and then i go this way i just it doesn't have to be right next to each other i just do like a little kind of grid checkerboard kind of thing so that gives you a good start to your paper okay the next thing you want to do is you want to cut your strips and i might need more i just grabbed a few so I grabbed, I think, three of each. One inch strips. Okay, so I did DSP on both of them. Oh, and I did two pink. So I might need another pink, but that's okay. So this is where we're at now. One inch each. Okay, so whatever, get two patterns, whatever you want. And they're one inch. Then I did the silver at an eighth of an inch. Let me verify that. Yes, an eighth of an inch. So just go over, do an eighth of an inch on your strips. And I just pulled a few in here and then I have some scraps. They don't have to be exact. If they're a tiny bit, like this is an extra piece, but that's obviously quite a big difference. But if you're cutting them and they're not exact, don't, don't worry about it, it's gonna be fine. So what I did is I took my first piece of colored paper and then I start in the corner and then I go offset on the corner. You don't want your paper exact. That's not the whole point here. So if you look here, this one was partially off and then partially off turned this way. This one, I went the other way. I started on the right side. So this one's fully on the corner and this one's partially over the corner. It really doesn't matter that much. You just don't want it like perfect. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna 
And this is the direction of this doesn't really matter because this paper is perfect for this kind of a thing. And if you look at the other side of this, it was very difficult to cut it. Okay, so, but this is just the variegated uh, berry. So I'm going to go in the corner here and I'm going to go up on this side. So I'm just going to go up a little bit. All right, so that's where I'm at. That's how I want to start. And you always want to start the same if you do a multiple at a time. You want to make sure they're at the same. I do them the same. So they all kind of have the same, but they're not exact. So this one, for example, partial and partial, my, I think I started turning them this way a little bit more, but leaving this about right there. So they're going to all look just a little bit different. They don't have to be the same. Now you're going to take your adhesive pieces. And obviously you don't have to take and use adhesive if you have something else because you already have your seal down. But what I do is I'm going to take this edge and go all the way to the edge just barely to cover because you want to save as much as you want as, as you can over here because you're going to use it. So I'm going to lay that down. It's nice and close to my project. All right, so let's get another one. We're going to go over here and you're going to do the same thing. Go right up to the edge as close as you can. And then just butt that right up against your paper. And this is really flat. It's not as high as um, Bedazzle is. It's very, I mean, it's barely over the DSP. All right, so just make sure. Honestly, I had to put my glasses on to make sure because I could hardly see in between the DSP and the, the, the sparkle. I wanted to make sure. Now you're going to grab your piece here. Same thing. Go all the way as close as you can to the edge because you want bigger pieces to use. All right now this obviously isn't going to fit right here so we're going to bring in another piece now at this point you could stop and trim but this piece right here and this piece is not going to fit right here so we're just going to grab this piece here so once i think some of these pieces will fit someplace else that's when i trim and continue on thank you guys for the thumbs up i do really appreciate it I would love it if you guys share my video. I never asked that, but apparently I should be. All right, so two pieces is what you want to be your main focus on going sideways, right? Now let's go ahead. I pull in my larger scissors, use what you have, and I just go ahead. I, I haven't even cleaned these yet because I did a bunch of these. Uh, my poor scissors need to be cleaned. All right, so I'm just going to stop there. And what I do with my, this is I grab it and I just stick it on the corner over here of my sheet because we will use it, okay? And now I'm going to turn. All right. All right, now it's all trimmed. Okay, now here's these little teeny tiny pieces of silver. You could possibly use those, but I'm going to toss them. And I'll just use another piece. I have some more over here. so, And we're going to have to pull more out, I'm sure. I probably need to cut more. All right, so the next thing what we're going to do is none of these. Oh, this one might be big enough. Oh, this is pink. Okay, we're going to hold on to that one. We need to start with our... Um, decorative one. So this one I'm going to go up this way. Basically what you're going to look at is you want a piece of this and a piece of this to fit, but in purple. So you want to make sure that you're going to have less than an inch, inch or less. So I just go right about here. Just on, grab that corner a little bit, but you don't have to grab the whole thing. Grab this. Let's see if this fits here. It doesn't. You can see white right there on the corner. So pull it up. We're going to put this one over here. Okay, so always, always don't forget to keep, put your, your glimmer paper in there. So this is the silver adhesive back. Now let's see if this one fits here. So we're going to lay that. And I knew it would because I've done a bazillion of these yesterday. So there's that. And now let's take this piece and see if it'll fit here. 
kind of little. Nope, you still see a white corner right there. I'm not going to do it. But remember, I still had this other piece. And this isn't the skinny one that we just did for the inside of the card. That one's still over here. So we're going to put this one right here. Okay, and now we're going to cut. No, we don't have to cut yet. See this corner right here? We're going to put this right here. So see how I'm using all the pieces up? And now I had a, a pink one. You want to do every other one. Don't worry about these. These two are by themselves. And then now we're working the other way. So now we're going to take this little purple piece. Oh, and I noticed that there's not very much adhesive close to that edge. I want a little closer. So there's that and then in the middle right there. I'm going to go a little closer. There we go. And now we're going to lay this down. And sometimes your ankle might be a little off, so just make sure it fits in there. Now this this sparkle paper seems like it's up a little. I kind of bend my card a little, just like lift it up a little bit. And just so that that paper kind of goes under or kind of tucks in nicely with your, um, spark, your glimmer paper. Thank you for sharing, Veronica. I appreciate that. All right, so we're going to cut this. Remember, you don't want to cut the white. You just want to cut all the paper, the DSP and the glimmer. Okay, so there's that. Now that corner is done. So we're going to turn it. This one, I want this to go right in the middle because then I know that I have just enough for the purples to go on each side. Again, we have our little pieces of paper here. So this one, ooh, this guy. Okay, I'm going to pull this one back off. Now watch how I do it. You're going to take it. It's not all the way butted up against the silver. So start pulling, but kind of twist it, and it'll come. But be careful. Remember, it's DSP, and that will um, tear a lot easier. So make sure that you're all the way up against your glimmer, which I wasn't. There we go. Now I'm going to put this one right here. Let's see if this one fits. Oh, it does. So we'll put that one right there. All right, now we need purple again, and I don't have any little pieces uh, because you really want a 90 degree angle, okay? Because that's pretty much how it should be aligning. So we're just going to do this one here. Now, of course, we're going to need to cut because I need some of that paper. Okay, super simple. So when you have scraps left over, Especially if they're one inch scraps, you definitely have um, use for that. All right, so you can, you could keep that if you needed to. Now, if I were to need that piece or this piece, obviously what I do is pull this up and then I take my little scissors and I just cut it straight. It's got to be straight because it's got to butt up against what you're working on. So I know that these are going because I'm not going to try and fit those anywhere. All right, now we have purple again. I'm not going to take the time to cut this. We'll just do this in. It's our last piece. So let's just do this. Tuck it in there. Make sure it's in there good. Ta -da! And there you go. That is how you do it. Super simple. I'm, I'm going to throw this away because I don't need it now. I'm not going to hold on to these tiny pieces. I will hold on to these because I might need more. All right, so there we go. Let me get rid of some of this glitter. Okay, so I have to say that this gl glimmer paper does shed a tiny bit, not a whole lot. Um, you can rub on it and it's not too bad, but once you start cutting it, just a little bit. Not bad like the old, old glimmer used to be, but just a little bit. All right, so let's put some um, adhesive on here. So now this is why you have that white piece. So that's what you're working on. That's your canvas, let's say, so that you can now adhere it to this beautiful lemon lolly, which, like I told you, I like to be able to see it a little darker. We're going to flip that. Still glittery, but that's okay. I can see it much better when you have your silicone mat underneath you. All right, so put it on there, right where you want it. Move this over a little bit. 
I didn't push it down yet. I just kind of laid it, so I want to pull that over just a little bit. There we go. All right, so there we go. Thank you, Veronica. Thanks, Terry. Thanks, Dawn. All right, so now what I did is we're going to add dimensionals to the back of here. I always tend to put a little more on larger panels like this. All right, that's good. And then we're going to do this one. Oops, hello. Yeah, why not? We'll put one in the middle. All right, so let's go ahead and we're going to adhere this to our card. I don't want to um, put the panels on top of it first because they're, they have dimensionals on them. This is much easier to just add this. See how it's easier when it's on a darker piece versus if it's on white, you can kind of see where you're at and what you're doing. Now let's take these off. Finally got my nails done and they're a little shorter so I can actually function, which is a good thing. Thank you, Chloe. I appreciate it. All right, so here we go. I'm going to put that. Now, like this one, you can decorate it as much as you want. I put a bunch. I mean, this is a swap, so I tend to go a little overboard on swaps. So, yes, I cut, um, or Stephanie cut, because she helps me, a lot. all these flowers and then made all the bows and, you know, really did a lot more. Uh, to add on the top of this. On this one, I had these um, Hello, or Hello, uh, Lemon Lolly squares from another project. I believe that this was the inside, and I think I did the frames on the Hey Chuck cards, if I'm remembering correctly. So I used the larger two of the no, the second and third from the biggest for the window, I think. And then this was the what was remaining. So I was like, ooh, I'm going to use this. So we're just going to put that just right there. And I didn't do my bow, so let me get my ribbon. A lot of people asked me the last time I used the bow maker, um, so this bow maker is, this is literally the website, 10 second bow maker. Okay. So if, if you are interested in this, a lot of people have asked me, um, then that's what you, you want to do. Uh, I did the two in the middle and uh, she's a demonstrator. Oh, I don't know if I have enough ribbon. I might have to grab another spool. Let me see. One, two. Three. Oh, look at me. We have just enough. Um, you can do two of these and put them together. You just take your uh, little pegs and put them here. Then you add it to the next one. And then you take this one's pegs and you can make big bows like for Christmas gifts and stuff. So um, it's really cool. This is a great tool when you want a nice tight or tiny bow. Like this is a tiny bow. And I wanted this one to be a little neater. Mine, the ones I do are a little looser, um, a little bigger, loopier. So I like this. Oh, let me show you guys again how to do it. All right, so you're going to take your ribbon, and I go around three times. One, two, three. So this is three. One, two, three. This is three. Okay, one, two, three. So as long as you have your both of your pieces back here, then that's three. Okay? Then you cross them and you take, I'm going to pull them so this is longer. You cross them and then you take your bottom one and you, I make it smooth over here and you go over and under. Okay. Then you crisscross it just like you're tying it, a knot. Okay. And now I tend to pull it towards me, go back and forth, and then I kind of tag down a little bit so that your tails go downward and then just fluff up your bow a little bit. Okay. 
Hello, Bo. This one I like to go in the middle, so let me see. Hello. There we go. There we go. Now I have my three ribbons, my three parts of my bow. Okay, so there's your three. Except this one's being, I gotta pull the back side of it down. It's sticking. There we go. There we go. All right, so there's our three. And then I'm going to cut This one's trying to, trying to twist on me, so that's fine. We'll cut it like that. And cut it like that. And then you know I like to do bows. I'm going to get a glue dot. But then I also like to just have that added... I went through the mail I might fall off glue so I don't like my bows to fall off that's like the best part of the card is bows got to have your bling and your your bows now the other thing I had a lot of from doing other projects and so that's what I think about sometimes when I do projects like what else do I have like I have little buckets like this Okay, so I have little things like this, and I have, this is probably from, not from this, but they were cut at the same time. So I'm going to, these will be coming soon, trust me. So I also have, I have little pumpkins. I just have lots of different things that I could pull in. Well, I had a bunch of these from when I used the other color in here, so... Uh, this one is adhesive backed solid gems and they have the lemon lolly, lolly lemon, whatever. Um, I'm looking. It's so light I can't even see it in the other. Um, lemon lolly. I always say lolly lemon. But you know what I mean. And then I just took a large one. This is another thing too is think about what you're going to use it for. Um, I'm going to do not the second to the larger. I'm going to do the little tiny one. So sometimes when I do a project, I don't want to do all the large ones on here, three large ones, because if I'm doing 50 cards, then that's going to be crazy because I, I can't, I'm going to be using all the large and have a ton of these other ones. Um, so I'm going to do the large one and the tiniest one and then the second to smallest. So um, that way I have you know, one of each on here, and it kind of works out better that way. Um, do you prefer adhesive over glue for your projects and why? I think the glue is more cost effective, but we all have our preferences. You know, Gloria, I use the multi-glue a lot, but on video, it's faster, it's quicker. Um, it depends. For panels, I always use seal, unless it's going on to glimmer or embossed. Um, I do like glue a lot when it's something that I need to position and I'm not quite sure or it needs to tuck under something. So when I put it down, I can slide it under and kind of play with it. So um, it just depends. I, go, <laughs> I kind of go back and forth, to be totally honest. A lot of times I'll start out, I'll do adhesive uh, seal forever. And then all of a sudden I start using glue. So I like them both, but they both to me have their perfect timing to uh, when I when I need to use them. But I do like both a lot. Um, I do now, right now tend to use seal the most. But anyway, there you go. So this is the other cards. So see, they look very much alike. Um, I just, the position of the paper might be a tiny bit different, but I always start with two of the larger pieces. Now I did learn this from somebody and I didn't look it up again. But if you watch the Boho kit, 
I believe I mentioned who it was there, but I've seen a lot of people use this, so who knows if it was, I don't know who invented it, but that's what gave me the idea is when I saw somebody doing it, and it's been a while. Thank you guys, I'm glad you like it. So um, again, you can do lots of different ones. You can use this plaid paper, if you use it on, um, ma uh, like the masculine, use like a navy and a brown or gray. It'd be a great masculine card. I wouldn't put the glimmer in between, um, but maybe do like a black strip or, you know, use little black strips or you can use cardstock for that too. You don't have to use, ooh, that's really bright right there. You don't have to use um, the bling. So you can always use a black cardstock or use a third color or use two patterns. And like this one is two patterns. So I did the larger um, gingham and then this smaller one, but you could have used like the larger and the smaller and then use a thin like black or brown or blue or whatever. So you can Gloria, just make sure everything is cut at your, your 90 degree when you're trying to match them up. I have got the hiccups again. I have been getting the hiccups like crazy. Okay. so. Let's look at the new DSP. I'm glad you guys liked it. Oh, I hope you guys do try it. I would love that. All right, so here's our paper. Woo All right, so we're gonna go downward. This one is called Shining Christmas. It would probably be easier for me to open up my paper shirt, but that's okay. We're just gonna open up the whole pack so you can see the whole glory of it. So. At first, I thought, oh, this is so pretty. So they're probably not going to have a reverse side, but they do. So this side is glossy, kind of. Um, it's got foil on it. It's really hard to see in this light, but you guys can see it a little bit right there. And then when you turn it over, it's got this nice um, matte side. Okay, so that is, so there is that one. All right, let me see if I can put them in a corner over here. There we go. Then look at these little packages. How cute are those packages with all the foil? All the red is foil. So cute. And look at the back. Kind of a retro image. Isn't that neat? Not ornaments or anything. It's just kind of a, a retro shape with a star in the inside. That would be a great back panel for something. All right, so there's that one. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get them all in the picture, but then this one, obviously you can see a lot of foil. All the red is foil. Okay, and then look at that. How cute would that be with the Merry and Bright? I'm glad you guys like the card, thank you. So isn't that cool? So there's another one. I think this one's really cute. I love this pattern. What is it? Is this an Izod pattern? Is that what it, no, it's called? It is called, I should have looked it up. What is this pattern called, you guys? Um, Argyle. I think it's Argyle. And look, the ornaments on the back. Isn't that neat? Great, great, great paper. Then we have Holly. With polka dots, it looks like snow. They're a different shape. They're kind of not exact. Oh, a thumbs up would be awesome, Carol. Thank you so much. Thank you for the reminder. Look how pretty that is. With the holly and the polka dots. And then we have candy canes and X's. Cute, 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 cute. So here we go. Let me see if I can pull them all in here. Oh, so that is the pa first package. And I'll give you guys the number in case you need it. It is 162354. 162. I'm going to write them over here for you. So this one is Shining Christmas. Shining Christmas. And it is one, six, two, three, five, four. But I know you guys, okay, I have it written on the side and I will show it to you when I'm all done. 
All right, so there is the first paper, first pack of paper. It is so pretty. This is my paper, so I don't have to organize it. I'm just, I'm waiting for my more plastic inserts from Stampin' Storage, so. All right, so I will show you my little list here when we're done. This one is called Tartan Foil. And it's this. I love this. I, I think it would be fantastic for masculine. Oh, let me write this down. Tartan. I'm writing it down. I know you guys can't see it, but I'll show you the list in a minute. And the number is 162332. Okay. So we have, I thought the big, the big deal was this side, but look at the reverse. Look how cool that is. It's the same color, so we've got this copper color, which I just love. All right, so there's one. We've got this color. The colors in here are Copper Clay, Lost Lagoon, and Pebble Path. I mean, these would make fantastic masculine cards. And the Pebble Path just looks so rich. Look at that. All right, look at that. There we go. Look how cool that is. So I just love the gingham or plaid or whatever you want to call it on the reverse side too as much. And this has the foil in it. Isn't that neat? So that is Tartan Foil 162332. All right. The next one is, okay, so this made me buy the stamp set. I thought I had enough stamp sets. I thought I really didn't need the uh, more stamp sets, so I wasn't going to get this one, but obviously I had to get it. Um, this one is called Traditions, Traditions of St. Nick. The number is 162355, okay? So when I saw this, I was like, well, heck, you just have to, which is okay, because I really wanted that. I think the chimney was part of this set in the fireplace. But look how cool that is. It just, look at the back, the, the masking. Though that, I mean, these are hearts right here. So I think this would be gorgeous for Valentine's Day. So pretty. So there's this. And I believe the dies cut out some of these, but I haven't tried it. I'm guessing they do. Look, this is, I'm in love with this. Look at that. I don't know what it is about coffee or I don't drink coffee unless it's all foo-foo and eat up, but I just love coffee theme anything. Coffee theme is just, I think it's so fun, but look at that. And look at the back. Isn't that gorgeous? All right, so there's that. And look at these mailboxes. And we have that other mailbox set. How cute would this be in the background? And then you guys put that other mailbox on top of this. That would be really cool. And look, again, all different papers with the damask on the back. And look, it even matches. Look at this. This matches here matches with the green matches with the red oh, where'd the red go matches with the red beautiful all right so that's this one and then this that just reminds me of when i was a kid don't you guys remember this yes exactly carol like an antique the antique look look at that this year would be kind of cool you can make a label out of that. I wonder, if, well, I don't think we have it. We might have a die that kind of fits that shape a little bit. But there's that. Again, the green, a darker green. The other one was a different kind of shaded green. That one I think is Mossy Meadow. The other one I think was Old Olive. And look at this. With the holly. And look at the back. Is that not gorgeous? I love this paper. I could just see, oh, in the next paper, I am in love with. Look at these little tiny stockings. This paper made me go buy 
an extra set of the stocking, uh, you know, the tag holder, I think it's called sending chair or something. And it's got the stockings and the hat and everything to make tags out of. Oh, look at that. Now, if you look at all of this, just look how the more detailed papers will go with all of the solid papers. So here are the solid papers. I'm missing one. Hold on. It's hiding. Here we go. So we have the solid papers and then we have the printed papers and they all go, see like this goes with all, it doesn't go with the copper because that is wild wheat. But I would love one of these in the wild wheat, but look how pretty it is with the red. I mean, you could put it with that. It kind of looks like this. Oh, it is. Look right here. That is copper. That's red. So that does go. Isn't that neat? So they all just kind of go so nicely together. Brocade. Yes, Jolie. I call it, what did I call it? Oh, damask. Yeah. It is beautiful paper. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, so pretty. Okay, so there's that one. This one is called Traditions of Nick 162355 is the number. But we're not done. So I showed you we used the um, silver and gold. So we have silver, oops, hello, and gold. That's not in English. I'm not sure what I wrote that in. 162288. 162288. And these are going to be found in your online exclusive, I believe. So we have the gold and we have silver. And what I like about this is to do like cut out words, just add a little bit, even if you punch out a little flower or a little something to just add in your projects. It's going to add a lot to your project. Now, if you wanted to, let's say on one of these, Let's say that this top panel was glued to here. You would think twice about doing a full piece unless you had a rectangle that you could cut out the center and save it. And then just add this on top as long as you have that around. You could also do just small strips if you wanted. I wouldn't probably do them all the way around, but more so on a card like this one, like I did here. You could just add strips of um, the paper because you want to save it. Now, this one I did the whole thing on the back. Uh, but you don't want to, I mean, if you want to save it and make it go farther, add strips. That's what I would do if you could, if it's a project that you can. Otherwise, cut out the middle and save it because you can use it later. So there we go. Silver and gold, 162288. And we have one left, which is... The paper I used today, it is beautiful. It is called Delightful Floral. And if you wanted the stamp set that goes with it, it is called Translucent Florals and there, it's a bundle, it does have dies. Okay, thank you Gloria. The number is 162356. Doing that card, it's a lot easier to do small printed things. So, oh, sorry, my head got in the way. Um, small DSP with small images on it. It's just a lot easier to do. And non-directional is also a lot easier. This, it looks like all the flowers go this way, but really, when you're cutting one-inch strips, it really wouldn't matter on this. But... Um, all right, so this one, look how beautiful this paper is. Like I said, I bought more of all of the paper. I just had to, but look at So that's where I got the pink that we used today. But is that beautiful? And see, look at, look at the stamp set. So you've got this nice green. You've got individual smaller leaves. You've got stems. So if you're doing a cluster, you could just do a stem and add another flower to it. You could add that. Really, really nice. All right. I had to really decide if I wanted silver or gold with this. But I chose silver because I think there's going to be a lot of gold in my Christmas paper. All right, let's put that there. Look how pretty. Look at 
is that? Pretty Peacock. That's what the darker color is. Right, Renee? That's how we roll. We see this paper, and then we're like, well, now we need to stamp set. So pretty, and it's so the colors. Now, this is the paper that we used. Isn't that pretty? And I cut it all up, but that's why I bought more. And I wanted to use the reverse side. I wanted to use the peach. But when I started these cards, um, I was like, you know what? I wanted to make a lot of them. So that's why I decided to use the other. But like this, look, see the peach is going to go great with other of the other pieces. So, But I just love this side. But look, there's more. See? All the colors. You can see that you've got the pretty peacock in there. Look how pretty that card would be. I mean, absolutely gorgeous. This paper. I was thinking when I opened it, I was like, whoever created this paper is brilliant. And look, it has lemon lolly a little bit, you know, on it. Well, I'm guessing it's lemon lolly. That's what I used. Yep. And then the reverse. Got the bubble bath. Or bubble gum, bubble bath. And these are a little bit different, a little more yellow to them. These are larger and darker. Look at that with pool party. Who's going to buy this paper? Again, this number is 162356. Look how pretty this is. And this, it looks a little more directional because if you turned it, I mean, it is only one, look at that, it's one inch. You really, I mean, all the flowers would be facing one way, but it's not that big of a deal. Because if you notice, you're gonna be turning this anyway. So if you had them all correct here, then you could, you're gonna turn it and they'd be facing this way. So it, it, this one is actually pretty, I think I think it would be fine. And then look, ooh, we pretty. This color, I want to see if it's a parakeet. Yes, parakeet party. Look how beautiful that is. But look at this. Isn't that pretty? So all of these. Look at that. So that is this pack of paper. Let me see if I can straighten it out a little bit so you can see them all. I hope you guys purchase these papers because don't forget limited time. And some of these items, especially online exclusives, we do not know how long they're going to be here. Well, I'm trying to get this a little organized so you can see it better, but it's running into my stuff. There we go. There we go. There we go. Getting there. So um, these are limited time, I should say not limited, while supplies last. That's the more appropriate way to say it, while supplies last. So if there is something you want, at least get yourself a pack so you have it and then get more later when you can if it's still available. All right. All right. So there we go. That kind of gives you an idea. Look how pretty that paper is. Is that all of it? So pretty. So this is just, now yes, you could, if you miss the paper, you could um, take these colors and take do the stamp set. So you could create this paper. Just take your stamp set and create yourself your paper and then do some watercoloring on some paper. You could, you could create something very close to it, but you know, when it's available. I say get it. All right, so there we go. See, and look, this is the last piece that was on the reverse side. All of it just goes together. So you can pick and choose your pattern. A lot of times when we do that, it just depends on what project you're making. If it's something you need a, a more dense pattern, you're going to choose the one with the tiny flowers like we used today. If you're going to make it a bigger, you know, card, bigger background, um, use this, but even a strip of this would be just absolutely gorgeous. It just kind of depends on what you're doing. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget, um, here is the sneak peek for bingo. 
I would love for you guys to join. It is still, I still have available um, kits, but I am getting ready to finish up the prepping. I've been prepping them um, pretty much nonstop. So <laughs> do the dies cut out the big flowers? Oh, let me look, Renee, hold on. Let me grab the, the die set. I don't know if I have it right here. I'm working with it, so let me pull it out of the bucket. I'm gonna find it. Oh, not right there. Maybe I do have it on my desk. Okay, I'm looking for it. Hold on. I found it. All right, so let's see. Oh, thank you, Carol. All right, let's see what we have. This one, oh, these also make flowers right here. And I saw something, if you're a demonstrator, look on demonstrator uh, planning place, I think is where it was. And they made the most gorgeous flowers. So I'll be doing a video on that sometime, sometime sooner than later. Um, okay, so I'm gonna say not on this page. No. These are a lot smaller, so no. The leaves, see how they all overlap each other? So I'm gonna say no. And they don't have one big leaf at the top, they've got multiple. Now, let's try this. There is a much smaller flower here, so no. Now, you could use that because it's bigger. No, no, because everywhere you do, there's a white sticking out. So that is a no. Obviously not on the small ones. Not on that leaf either. All right, let's try this. Oh, that was the first page. So I would say no, they do not. No, that was the same as the first page. They do not. But like I said, these are absolutely beautiful. I saw uh, somebody create some flowers with them. So I'm gonna try and find that picture again. Oh, this is what you gotta do. I'm gonna try and find that picture again and take a look at it and see how they did it. There we go. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for um, joining me this evening on Wednesday. Wednesday, Wednesday, Wednesday. No, Wednesday I will be here. Sunday, next Sunday I will not be here. I am going to go watch Ed Sheeran. So um, I will be watching Ed, well I might, I should say I might be here. We're watching Ed Sheeran on Saturday and then we're driving home on Sunday. So um, it will be up in the air if I am on on Sunday. And then on the 20th is Bingo. I'm excited about Bingo. I can't wait to show you. I have a 3D project. I can't wait to share with you. There's gonna be some giveaways, some extra fun stuff. It is our holiday Bingo. So we're just gonna have some fun. And um, I, have, I also have um, some items. Uh, from the uh, Stamp It Crazy. She donated some items that I'll be also um, doing some drawings for that. Gloria, this will be my second time. But there was another demonstrator that was supposed to go see him this last weekend and there was some issue with loading to go to Vegas so or loading to Vegas. I don't know what that meant because he probably with our load to Vegas so I don't know what he meant but um, hopefully they didn't forget his pedal or something, but anyway, um, they had to reschedule. That was really sad. So sorry about that. Um, but hopefully we get to see him, um, on Saturday. So I'm excited about that. I know. Oh yeah. Barb free stock. So we're going to, I'm going to be doing a little bit of drawings on that or a little bit of giveaways and, um, that's it. So don't miss out. I will see you guys on Wednesday. Have a great rest of your weekend and your week. I'll see you soon. Bye, everybody.